Hi everyone, uh, in this video I wanted to show you an, I think an exciting workflow uh, that I just uh, got uh, done with. Uh, and this workflow basically uh, uses Topologic in Streamlit, which is this new uh, web-based application, uh, to get a 3D geometry from Speckle and send it to uh, Pollination Cloud as you can see here. Now I will show you an example where the geometry originates in Blender and Topologic in Blender. But obviously, as you know, Speckle connectors can exist for Revit, for ArchiCAD, for Grasshopper, for many other uh, CAD software. So you can, you can get your uh, models from there. Uh, Topologic will ensure that the, uh, the models are uh, analytic and ready and compatible to be uh, analyzed using the pollination cloud apps you know that are based on uh, uh, ladybug and open studio and energy plus so uh, it is a good idea to have a topologic uh, geometry uh, like a cell complex uh, with apertures so that it is guaranteed to be uh, compatible with pollination so let's let's get started let me show you the uh, origin of that geometry. So we start, uh, in this case, in this scenario, we started with Blender. Uh, we created this kind of tall building of some sort. Um, I'm just trying to get it. Ah, sorry, that's just not, my mouse is not uh, working very well. Uh, but basically, um, you know, this is nothing really other than uh, creating the geometry here and trying to uh, to get the apertures, etc. At uh, at the very end, we use the nodes for speckle that I've written for uh, Topologic that send the objects from Blender uh, to speckle programmatically here. Obviously, Blender also has a speckle connector, which this is based on actually. Uh, but if you are working in Sferchok and you want to continue just working in Sferchok, you don't want to go back to the user interface, you can just simply send the object to Speckle. So here I have authenticated to the Speckle server and I am sending the building as one object and the windows as another object, as a set of faces. So these are called tall building windows. Mm -hmm. So if we go over to uh, Speckle, so let's go ahead and log on to Speckle here and let's go to the main branch. Uh, I've done many uh, commits uh, while, while testing, but basically uh, there is a tall building, as you can see here. Uh, it doesn't render very well uh, because, you know, just how uh, Speckle is rendering this, but this has interior partitions and this has all the rooms. It's just this representation is not great. Uh, and then there are the windows. The windows show up a little bit better. And you can see there are windows on the outside and there are doors on the inside faces and there are also windows on the inclined surfaces right here. So these are uh, the two commits. Uh, one is called tall building and one is called tall building windows. Okay, so how do we get it uh, to work? So basically we go to uh, the Streamlit app. So let's go ahead to uh, Streamlit. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, okay, it's already logged in. And here is the app. It's called Topologic HP. And we launch it. And anybody can access this app. And if you have uh, Speckle, you can log in to Speckle and use your own streams. That's absolutely fine. So this app is made out of two pages. The first one is called App and the other one is called Pollination. So we start with App. We log into Speckle. So you have to provide your credentials. Here it's already logged in from uh, Google. I use Google to log in. So it's already uh, asking me to allow it. So I click Allow. It comes back to Streamlit. It opens up a new window and I'm ready to now uh, select the building type. So I'm going to first select my building, not the apertures. So I have either buildings or apertures. So I start with building. 
I select the stream. I know that it's called uh, Streamlit Test Public. I will select the main branch and I will select a commit from here. So I will choose the uh, tall building from Blender, perhaps this one. And I get a preview of it so that I know that I've selected the right one. So here is a preview of that tall building, as you can see. And I'm just printing out the uh, the fact that I got a mesh out of it, which is ready for topologic. Great. So now we got we got this. This is now saved in the session state. So now I'm gonna get the aperture. So I select apertures, and I change the commit from uh, tall building to tall building windows. Maybe this last one. Again, just to check that I got the right one. Yeah, looks like it's the right one. Again, I can uh, see the actual 3D model if I wanted to and zoom in just to check it. And this is now the second mesh. And that's all you have to do. Now you have uh, gotten the two meshes from uh, Speckle. Now we go on to the next page. We go to pollination. And you'll notice just for uh, debugging, the building is a topologic cell complex and the apertures is a topologic cluster of faces and it already behind the scenes created a new building which is a new cell complex that is a combination of uh, the building and the apertures you can even download the hpjson file here and just use it and send it uh, to pollination manually or you can just simply follow and fill out this form uh, to send it from this app so we're going to go ahead and get uh, the pollination API and I will see if I can uh, pause the window just for a second, the recording for just a second. Okay, so uh, I have uh, put in my uh, API key which you get from pollination. The project owner is my name, Wasim J. Uh, the project name I will call topologic to uh, pollination that's the project name that I have the job I'm gonna call that test 04 because I've been doing some tests and I'm gonna give it the speckle name and uh, this is a test of using topologic to interface between speckle and pollination um, I'm gonna leave this uh, the same for now. This is just for testing. I'm gonna try to get the daylight factor uh, job. Everything here uh, is the same. Uh, in this app, it creates the sensor grid uh, automatically for every room. So you get a uh, sensor grid so that you can get your daylight factors. And when you're ready, you click submit and it runs. You can see here that it's running. And that's it, it's gone now to uh, pollination so let's go ahead to pollination cloud to see if the job is available there so we go to pollination or pollination cloud go here we log in again I use uh, Google so it will probably log me in automatically Just waiting for it to show me the. Hmm. This is taking a while to log into pollination. Here we go. So you can see here under my projects, there is a project called Topologic to Pollination. Uh, I've already had two successful runs, and there is the fourth run right here. You see, it's called Test 04 Speckle. Okay. Try to zoom in onto it. And it's running this one is already done so I can take a look at what it looks like you can see here it succeeded and there is the model and the results and the visualization so let's take a look at the visualization daylight factor we can uh, isolate the data here 
and you can see that this is our data for every room in this tall building see here and if we don't want to isolate the data we can see it within the context of the building and uh, the building is well formed you know in terms of walls like for example you can hide the walls and take a look you can hide the apertures so that it's clearer and you can hide floors and ceilings and even the grid itself so that's it really that's that's the process but i think it's going to be uh, really uh, useful for people to move from uh, speckle through topologic through streamlit all the way to uh, pollination to do uh, energy analysis and daylight analysis etc thanks for watching